Your role evolved um, quite quickly, I think, from people into um, places and communities. Tell us a bit about why that happened and how that happened. Um, okay, so the you know, as as we as I came on board, it was definitely in that very people focused capacity, and then we started to think broader around employee experience more holistically. Um, and understanding what are the other factors and other elements that contribute to that. So very quickly, what we call the workplace team, um, which might be facilities. I mean, it's it's broader than facilities, and that's why we call it workplace, right? The team that's very focused on the physical experience, the design of the space that people work in, um, and also the programs that support your experience at work, be that um, sort of food programs, wellness, well-being. um, That all sits under our workplace team. Um, And so we brought that team under my remit as well because that's contributing to the overall employee experience. Um, We also reached a point where we decided we needed an internal communications capability or sort of more of a slightly dedicated team. Um, And again, the decision about where that would sit, maybe, you know, sometimes that sits in an external communications function along with marketing. But again, we decided that for us, because you know, communication of information and sharing of information internally, again, is very much an employee focused activity. So we brought that in. Um, So in the first phase, my my role was around, you know, the more traditional elements of HR and people, plus the workplace piece, plus starting to build an internal communications function. Then it evolved um, more lately to take on um, community operations. And for us, it's anti community operations um, is the team that supports the, the user community on our platform. Um, so customer support for shorthand, um, for us, it's a little bit more than customer support, but it is about scalable support and interaction with our users. Um, and the reason, um, and I think it's always really important, um, The reason that I took that on, and it's really important to say that we didn't put customer support into HR, Um, what we did was, you know, recognize that some of the the leadership characteristics and the things that I've been able to do with the people team were, were similar capabilities that we might want to think about when scaling our community operations. So again, with that side of the, the business, you know, on one hand, think about employee experience, and then on the other hand, I'm trying to think about customer experience. And at the end of the day, they're just both groups of people. Um, one is a, is a smaller group of people internally in your organization that you want to provide a high touch experience to. The other is a larger population of people who are interacting with your product and are part of our community that we also want to provide a really good experience for. The challenge with that group is they're much larger and we need to think much more about how we do that in a scalable way. So how we use systems, tools, technology, um, and how we sort of you know support that large user community um, in a really meaningful, authentic way, but in a way um, that allows us to, to, to scale and get economies of scale as we grow the business.